What's going on and welcome back to the channel. Today in a DaVinci Resolve tutorial, we're talking all about subtitles with some tips and tricks. Let's get into it. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Josh Haynes. I'm a freelance filmmaker and I bring out videos to help you grow as creators. Consider subscribing if you have not already. Today we're talking all about subtitles in DaVinci Resolve 18.5. They've done a lot of really good updates in the new 18.5 update. Uh, I'm really happy with everything they've got. There's a few things I don't like and there's a couple workarounds that I have not seen anyone talk about on all their other videos. So that's what we're talking about today. Let's load up DaVinci Resolve and get going. So first things first, you're going to need a final video or you're going to want a project that is already cut up and done, pretty much ready to go. I do not recommend doing subtitles till the very end, right before export, it makes it a lot easier. I'm just using this YouTube short that I made on these Mondo ties, it's already on the channel if you haven't seen it. Uh, if you guys would like to see a tutorial on how I make YouTube shorts, uh, please let me know in the comments below. I'm thinking about adding that into the mix here pretty soon. Uh, so what we need to do is step one, is we need to make sure our video is good. Everything is good, I've already checked it. Once it's good, we are gonna go up here to Timeline and we are gonna scroll right down to Create Subtitles from Audio. We are going to click that it is going to bring up this create subtitles box. And here's where you have a lot of perimeters and a lot of choice on what you want to do. So if I'm going for a Mr. B style, I personally like to keep my maximum characters at 12 per line. I like to do a single line. You could have double if you'd like. Language, I'm gonna do auto. Uh, you could change it if you had a different language on here. Uh, caption preset, I'm just gonna leave it as a subtitle default. Uh, and then gaps between subtitles, uh, I'm gonna leave it zero frames because I don't want there to be any gaps in between there. I'm gonna hit create. It's going to uh, analyze it. It's going to listen to the audio, do its AI magic, which is still a little scary how good AI is. Uh, once it's complete, it's going to bring up your subtitles right here. We can drag that down and see that we have all our subtitles. If I play it through, everything looks good. Uh, the only thing I've noticed is with the subtitles is every once in a while, uh, it will have like a word like Condor. They specifically have their spelled with a K instead of a C. So the way to fix that is I'm gonna click on the actual subtitle that says Condor. I'm gonna go over here to the inspector. I'm gonna go to caption. And then right here, I can just change that to a K. And if we needed to change anything else, of course we could do that inside here. You could just hit next. It's gonna bring up the next one, the next one, the next one. You could go back, forth, whatever you're wanting to do. If you decide you want to add a new one in between, you can do that as well. Uh, but I think it looks pretty good the way it is. I personally like to play it through, see how I like the pacing. If anything needs to be tweaked or changed, you can do all of that by going to track. And then here you could go into subtitle settings and I have it as use project settings. We could uncheck that and we could then start to change a little bit more to make it a little more customized if we didn't like something that we already did. I'm gonna leave it the way it is. I think it's fine. However, I want them to pop a little bit more. So I am gonna go to the track. I'm gonna go to the character and I am going to select a yellow, something that I think looks good like so. Uh, I want there to be a stroke around it. I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna go all the way to black and I'm gonna make it probably three on a stroke. Uh, I do not like the font that is on there so we're gonna change that as well. I like this one so we're gonna click that. I am gonna make the size just a little bit bigger but again be careful because you may have words start to get cut off. So anytime you change this, you need to play it through and it makes sure that nothing's falling off the screen or getting cut off weird. Now swiping through this, you can see that it did change the color of everything and that's because I'm on track. So it's changing the entire track. If I change the size to really big, it's going to be changed throughout it. It doesn't matter if I have one clicked or not it's going to change the entire subtitle track. So I'm gonna hit Command Z to go back. If everything looks good, you can honestly be done from here. We can hop over to the Deliver tab and we would export it out, which we will get to here in just a little bit. But before we get to that, and I've got a couple more tips for you, let's talk about the sponsor of this video, and that is Artlist. Let's say I've got a project coming up and I need some banger music. I'm gonna jump on artlist.io. I'm gonna find the style of music that I'm looking for, whether you're looking for the mood, the video theme, the genre, the instrument, Instrument. It's laid out so well you can find a banger song, download it, and immediately hop back into your edit and never miss a beat. 
The best part I love about Artlist is they've got a couple different plans, whether you're a content creator that's just putting stuff out on social media, or you're a freelancer like myself, as well as content creator, and you need to have one license that covers everything, and you're not worried about having your video flagged for something because they've got you covered across it all. If you're wanting to check out Artlist, I have a link in the description below. Use that link and you'll get two extra free months when you sign up for a yearly subscription. Thank you so much, Artlist, for sponsoring this video and other creators just like me. Let's talk about exporting your videos with and without the subtitles baked in. So there's a couple different ways you could do it. You could right click on the subtitle track if you wanted to export these out by themselves. You would go down to export subtitles. It would bring up where you want to put it. Uh, and then I think if it's going on YouTube, the best one is subtitle files without formatting. This is basically gonna give you the information of the subtitles you created in here over the ones YouTube normally tries to create on its own. Uh, it does pretty good on there, but again, if I caught that that condor word was with a K instead of a C, YouTube's probably not gonna catch that and I can't change that out. So if it was a sponsored video for them, I would really want to make sure that that's spelled with a K instead of a C. Uh, without formatting, it's going to look just like normal subtitles in YouTube. It's gonna be very plain, not the yellow, uh, no stroke around it. You could export it that way, upload it when you upload your video. If you wanted to bake it in, we would go to the deliver tab. We would go over here, we'd name our video, of course, do everything that we would normally do. Uh, but down here at the bottom now, there is a subtitle setting. If we click that and drop that down, we can click export subtitles. If that is not checked, no matter what you've done on those subtitles, it is not baking it into your video. So if you're having problems with this, make sure that is checked. Uh, I do not wanna do as a separate file. Again, this is another way that you could do that where you're exporting them separately. I could just separate this, uh, the same thing as a separate file, and then it would ask me how I want to do it. So if I was gonna do it that way, again, I would do SRT without formatting. It's the same way as right-clicking on it when you were in the edit page. What I want to do, is I want to burn this in the video. So like the video specifically, if I'm doing YouTube shorts, I want this to bake that yellow in. Uh, it may look a little weird if YouTube adds its own subtitles as well later, but most people aren't gonna be clicking on the closed captioning tab if you have subtitles already baked in. Now for all of you that have stuck around, I have one more tip for you and a workaround for the problem that I have that is currently going on with 18.5 beta that I'm hoping Blackmagic will fix when they actually finish it. Uh, there is no keyframe animation that you can do in here to bake it in. It is what it is, it's locked in, that's what you got. So if you want the Mr. Beast thing where it pops up, normally I would grab a text plus uh, and I would drag it in here and I would, you know, animate it, make it look specifically how it pops up a little bit. And it's like, words are here, that kind of thing. Uh, but you can't really do that with these and doing it the text plus way is very time consuming. And if you got a lot of subtitles, it's gonna get really time consuming and very irritating. So the best workaround that I figured out, again, this is a little time consuming, but not near as bad as I'm gonna zoom in here. I'm going to go over a frame on the subtitle. I'm going to hit Command B, making sure I've only got the subtitle selected. I'm going to go over one more in the next one. Command B, go over on the next one, click, make sure each is clicked. Command B, and I'm just going to cut a single frame off of each one of those. I would click on the individual little pieces that I've cut at the front. I would make sure I'm on caption, not track, because we're not trying to change the entire track. I click on caption, I would go right here to customize caption, click on that, and in here, I can turn the size down. So let's do like 20. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the next one that I cut, same thing, customize caption, turn it down to 20. You can see how this would get very time consuming, uh, but it actually works out to be a better turnaround and I think just a little faster than doing the text plus. But you can see if I play it through, it kind of pops up a little bit. 
It's not the smoothest thing, but it is a workaround to give you some impact on words. This will only work if you are baking this into the video. This will not work if you're right clicking and you're exporting the subtitle out and you're having this be a subtitle file without formatting the SRT. So this is the best workaround that I have found to give you that Mr. Beast style pop-up text. Again, it's not a full fix, and I really hope, and I'm sure Blackmagic will bring it out to where we can customize these more in the future to add the, you know, the keyframes. Because honestly, if Blackmagic would make it to where inside track, I could add keyframes on the size, I would just do 1% on one frame, go over to the next frame and make it be 73, and it would affect all of them. So please, Blackmagic, if for some odd reason you are listening to this video, that needs to be in there. It's in every other NLE. Premiere Pro has it, and I know you guys are coming for Premiere Pro. I see all the things you're doing. I love you, Blackmagic Design, but that needs to be added into it. We are looking for it. We really need it. With all that said and done, let me know in the comments below if you learned something new. That's it for today's video. You're amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. I will see you next time. Peace.